My lovely, beautiful friends, here we are again together at last, uh, my post-market wrap-up on this Monday, a historic um, a Monday, seriously, the S&P 500 did close at a new all-time record high. It is July 1st, 2019. Um, a pretty wild day in this market. Uh, we opened at a new record high. The stock market almost went negative. We'll talk about that. Then there was a nice surge at the end of the day. Okay. So, really not a surprise to anybody out here, but this market is sending a message to the Federal Reserve. You see this behind me? Uh, like Luca Brasi. Uh, if, if this market does not get a rate cut this month, the stock market will sleep with the fishes. And that was the message today from the stock market. Understand what I'm about to tell you. The stock market is literally a living entity. It's the truth. It's, a, it's the collective consciousness of all its participants, algorithmic or not, because those algorithms were uh, figured out by human beings. You understand? So this market is a living entity. It is also an addict, a drug addict of the highest order. So it's all well and good that, that President Trump, did you hear him today? I promise, I mean, I, don't, I, I personally didn't like the fact that he said that. I promise not to raise tariffs on China. Why promise? It's stupid. All right, whatever. I'm not beating up on the president because I know a lot of you need to run to your safe space every time I do that. But the fact of the matter is, he said, I promise. Whatever. Take that as you want. Uh, I think it looked weak. Anyway, regardless of that, um, he made a promise not to raise tariffs on China. I'm sure they're all gleeful and happy. Um, so with that out of the way, stock market, you know, opened at a new record high. Crude oil, did you watch crude oil today? Again, with the cuts from OPEC and now Russia, uh, they're going to cut production here. We uh, we had initially put on about 3%. We gave about half of that back. We are still in, in the false flag danger zone with regard to crude oil. Again, they want $70 a barrel uh, of crude, and they're going to get it one way or the other. You know that. Um Let's let's talk a little further here about about rate cuts and and how this is going to play out. There are many people here that are so fixated on this stock market that they say, "Oh no, the Fed's not going to cut rates because the stock market, well, the S and P five hundred just hit an all time record high." You're looking in the wrong place. Forget the damn stock market. It's the bond market. And let me show this to you. Just look. This is just awful. Um, bond market. Look at that one, the one month. The one month is dominating the yield curve. Okay, let's go all the way down. Now let's look at the... The one month is yielding more than everything except the 30 year. That is not healthy. That is not healthy. What individual entity, organization, fraternity, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, would want to hold a long-term debt unit when a short-term debt unit is yielding much more? You understand? The Fed must act. If they don't, the market will sleep with the fishes. It's that simple. It is that freaking simple. Let me explain something else to you very clearly. The president did not want to call a truce with China. He didn't want to, but he had to. Why did he have to do that? The president is very concerned with stock prices rising. Okay, He's going to tweet today, whether he did or not, about the stock market, the S&P 500, closing at a new record high. It will happen today. He can't help himself. Okay. Um, the president cannot win, and I've said this since the inception of this trade war, okay? He cannot win a trade war without understanding, and he clearly does understand this, that the stock market will take a hit. All right, China realizes this very clearly, okay? So, um, and so does the president. So he can't win. He cannot win this trade war if he's 
making sure that the stock market continues to march higher. It's his claim to fame. People, the U.S. economy is in free fall. We haven't had a single piece of good economic news in as far back as we can remember. This is why the yield curve looks the way that it is. This is why the Fed must act or the stock market sleeps with the fishes. You understand? It's that simple. The market is dictating to the Fed what it wants, and the market will get it at the behest of the President of the United States. He will make sure that this stock market gets another hit of heroin, mainline, drip, uh, it's, it's coming, period. Uh, it's just a matter of how much. If it doesn't get it, if this market does not get its next hit of drugs, I don't care what trade truce they might call. I don't care, even care what they do to crude oil or a combination of the two. It will not matter. Stocks will drop. And if they do, if you're interested in seeing this, I posted a brand new, free, for all of you, uh, a trading system. And this is a long-term trading system. It's not the one I've been talking about that I'm working on. This is something I've been using for a while to take advantage of longer-term trends. Go to my Facebook page. Go to my Twitter feed. Uh, I even posted it on Steemit, um, a particular charting system that you can use to uh, for or against the S&P 500 longer term. Take advantage of this because I can promise you, you see this guy right here? If we do not get a rate cut this week, this market's going to dive. Dive and end up at the bottom with the fishes. And I will short this with every Benjamin Franklin that I have. Okay? So that should tell you something. <laughs> it's a fact. It's a fact. All right. Um, I want you to look at one more thing before I let you go. In the description of this video, I, I, have, I made a chart for you so you can see what the yield curve looks like as compared to the last meltdown. And believe what I'm telling you, the Federal Reserve is looking at the same thing. And this is another reason why the Fed will cut. You understand? They must do it. So for that faction of you here that still doesn't get it, stop looking at the stock market. It's the bond market that matters, period. Uh, if you know my work, you know this better than anybody else on YouTube or anywhere else. That's the truth. So again, with that said, um, keep your eyes on these things and, and do yourself a favor and share it. Share it if you find it eye-opening. In the description of this video is a link to the yield curve chart I made for you. I want you to look at it. If you're a trader, go to my Steemit account. Um, my Steam it blog and you will see the charting system I put there for you for longer term trends. I am still working on my intra new intraday system. Um, I did end up making two trades today using that system, both successful, one early, early on and one right at the end of the day. I'm a happy guy, uh, but I still need a lot of work on this and of course I'll give it away for free when it's done, but I still got to work on this. With that said, this guy, not the fishes because they're both dead, uh, does love you a lot. And I will see you in the morning. Please share this video. Get it out there. That's all.